So now that we uh, have a stable economy and we've done all our ideological things, I think we're just going to slowly crank up our, uh, our police state. There you go, universal monitoring. Apply changes. <laughs> Sounds good. Alright, next turn. Thanks for the advice, dude. Doctor Strike. It takes a lot for medical professions to refuse work. Labor laws, wages. Huh. Oh well. Children's food. Urgent policy question that requires. A law has been proposed to regulate the fat content and nutritional value of food sold to children. No, I believe in the free market. I believe in the free market. Uh. Everything is going great. I guess we should have. Uh, okay, how do we improve private healthcare again? This is private schools, health, private healthcare. Ah, interesting. Apparently, I can't. Hold on. Public services, healthcare vouchers. All right, we're gonna go to healthcare vouchers. How much money do I have to spend? Let's crank up private healthcare. I mean, that's gonna use up quite a bit of money, though. All right, next quarter. Economic stability is an achievement. Why is that an achievement? Sometimes it's not how much the country is growing, but how steadily it takes along that makes all the difference. Congratulations on overseeing such this stability. Liberal plot. Our intel department has uncovered a cause for concern. Apparently a hardcore offshoot of the Human Rights Society called the Freedom League might be taking their liberal agenda a bit too far. They are apparently looking at ways to topple the government. And they aren't going to attempt it by writing angry letters. Some of these extremists have got guns and our undercover agents suggest they might be serious. Be cautious. Alright, thanks. Car company shuts plan, well good for them. Uh, we're in recession, we've got 70% of the votes, we have surplus of 167 billion. Uh, addiction, teacher shortage. Doctor Strike is gonna get out of there soon. Private schools, unemployment. Can we crank up our private schools? Healthcare vouchers. School vouchers is already maximum. Huh. But there's still a teacher shortage. Well, that's just too bad. <laughs> Am I right? It's just too bad, isn't it? Uh, alcohol abuse. So, okay, so what are these problems? Skills shortage. Pollution problem. It's not. It's not really a problem. Homelessness. Property tax. Oh, we should cut the property tax, shouldn't we? Hmm. Uh, I mean, it doesn't do anything. It hardly does anything. Hold on. So how much homelessness do we have? Poverty and unemployment. What is my unemployment? I mean, it's going down, so it's like... I don't see what the problem is. <laughs> what is my... Uh, poverty? Hmm. Um, addiction, poverty, productivity, police force... Narcotics is already outlawed, right? Why is there still an addiction problem? I don't, I don't quite get it. Oh, it is going down. Maybe we can. Maybe it's just on the way down. Teacher shortage. Ah, uh, maybe I should raise school funding just a little bit. <laughs> I mean. Healthcare vultures, public schools, 
wooden school how may I should raise this just a little bit education poor unemployment teacher shortage well hold on cancel I mean it's not okay we need to raise it a little bit Private schools are not enough. Crap. I want to just ignore it. I really do. I just want to ignore it. Alright, we're going to raise this a little bit. Apply changes. Yes, good. Uh, let me wait until next turn. Failed assassination attempt. Yeah, well, you failed. Ah, failed. Apologies for rushing you out of the building in a hurry, but that explosion was an assassination attempt on you carried out by an extremist liberal splinter group known as the Freedom League. Well, can we just kill them all? They are apparently angry enough about your government's retreatment of liberal issues to try to blow you to pieces. Thankfully, our security services managed to discover the bomb before it went off. I think now is a good time to make sure we crank up our security apparatus. Because uh, we, we are... These people are trying to destroy freedom by killing me. So, um, so there's that. Let's see, what good ideas, what good law and order ideas do we have? Not speed cameras, CCTV cameras. What tasers? Well, CCTV cameras are more popular. So let's go for CCTV cameras. And face recognition. There you go, apply changes. Good. Ah, uh, that's kind of high. <laughs> this is it's going down. How much this is going down? Skill shortage is going up. Oh, that's, a, that's a real shame. Doctor Strike should stop. Alright, Doctor Strike should stop. Teacher shortage is going down a little bit. Drug addiction is going down a little bit. Asthma epidemic, that's a bit of a problem. Alcohol abuse is going down slowly. I think we're going to solve some problems next quarter. Liberal plot. Well, they failed already, so let's just do that again. So the doctor's strike is at an end, that's good. GDP is going up, health is going up, unemployment's going down. Freedom of information. There have been calls for a law to increase the availability of information held on databases. Uh no. No, I mean if you no. I'm not <laughs> no. <laughs> we are monitoring you and you're not allowed to find out how we're monitoring you, alright? So no, no freedom of information. Continue... Look, homelessness is gone. Amazing. Look how good I am at this. Uh, drug addiction should also be gone. Teacher shortage should be gone. Asthma epidemic. Alcohol abuse is slowly going down. What should we do about our pollution problem? What should we do about the pollution problem? The environment. Uh, hybrid cars initiative. What should we do about the environment? I mean, I want to destroy the environment, but this, it's causing pollution problems. Can I? <laughs> can I destroy the environment without causing a pollution problem? Is what I want to know. Um. Anyway, let's let's be more impressive. Welfare, winter fuel subsidies, rent controls, welfare fraud, oh this is what we need to do, welfare fraud department. State housing, oh wait, homelessness, is it still a problem? Anyway, we're not going to give state housing. Disability, child care, child benefit. Ah, uh, we should have child benefit, yeah, because uh, we want to make babies. Poor equality, capitalist. Wait, why do liberal people like this? I thought conservatives want more babies. Alright, cancel policy. Uh, cancel. Revert changes. Cancel. Oh, wait. It, it still costs me if it's... Anyway. I don't understand why... I'm gonna cancel. My mistake. Oh, it's- wait, if you just cancel immediately, it still uses up your capital. Why would it do that? 
green plot, good for them. Alright, rubbish tip process, yeah, whatever. Drug addiction is at an end, great. Homelessness is at an end, that's great. Are we uh, making $250 billion a quarter? 79% of the vote, good. Alright, so we've solved two problems. Uh, there's still a teacher shortage. Why? There's still a teacher shortage. That's not going down anytime soon. Should we tax? Should we tax alcohol? Is that what we should do? Still a shortage. Um, let's think about what we should do. Child benefits, state housing, welfare fraud department. Let's do that. Yeah, undercover. All right, let's let's investigate welfare fraud. And uh, with the fuel subsidy, rent controls, tax shelters. All right, we need to help our our wealthy buddies. Yeah, there you go. I just got advantage. Nice. High earners, capitalists. Good. I like this. All right, good, good job. Uh. Pollution controls. No, no, nobody likes pollution controls. Maternity leave, consumer rights, agriculture subsidies. Taxes, not very really good tax, no. Enterprise investment scheme. Tax breaks to wealthy individuals who invest their money in small startup companies. Ah, uh, maybe I should do this. Yeah, I think people want tax breaks. Yeah, there you go. All right, apply changes. It's a it's a good situation that helps both wealthy people and uh, and small business owners. Youth club subsidies. Well, it depends on what kind of youth clubs they are. If they're like. I, I probably shouldn't be too overt about what I was going on. I was going to say something. So youth club. So there's like uh, both like the the Nazis and the and the communists. They would have like youth parties or like you know they're like youth youth clubs for like the, the the youth kind of groups for their parties. So if if it's those, so if it's like a if it's like a, a right right wing youth league, then yeah, I'm, I'm into youth clubs. All right, good. Next quarter. Click to return to government, liberal port, thanks for the advice. Religious symbols in schools. There's pressure for us to introduce a law to ban the wearing of religious symbols in state schools by students. This would include wearing the hijab by female Muslim students and the wearing of a cross. Ah, uh, no. Wait a minute, reject the ban. Nothing short of discrimination against... By ensuring all students straight to the state, we can ensure that there's equality and integration of all religions and no discrimination. It exists purely as an excuse to ban Muslim students from dressing as they wish. Ah, let me, let me just ban. Alright, sure, ban. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Health is going up, GDP is going up, unemployment going down, crime is down, education and poverty is kind of bad, but who cares. Um, we're doing kind of well. We're doing quite well. I think. I think we're doing quite well. Look at that, we're making more money. Uh, amazing, look at us. Wait, what's happening? So our, our the economy is going up, our GDP is going up, and so our taxes are bringing more money. So even though I'm kind of spending more, I have more to spend as well. And uh, we continue to have a surplus. This is amazing. <laughs> I can't believe how well our fascist dictatorship is going. Ah, uh, there's still a teacher shot. You people are so bad. Alright, so what's going on here? Private schools? Oh, the private schools are maxed out already. <laughs> That's... <laughs> okay, fine, fine. You know what? Fine, fine. Private schools are maxed out, so we, we just, let me just fund public schools a little bit more. School vouchers are maxed out. Man. Alright, fine, fine, fine. Let's go to uh, 70. 
I mean, my buddies, my private school buddies, can't actually make any more money from private schools. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, I mean, the alcohol abuse is slowly going down. I don't want to change that too much. Alright, let's wait for next month. Failed assassination attempt. Well, as long as they keep failing, it's fine. The Freedom League has failed again. Can we just exterminate them already? What's going on? Budget surplus. 83% of the vote. Okay, the teacher shortage should end, right? Alcohol abuse is going down very slowly. Pollution is going up. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> okay, maybe I should... Maybe I should do something about that. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay. Okay, despite... Despite the fact that I'm kind of amused by the lack of pollution controls. Government targets, restrictions... Major fines. Alright, we need to do something about this. Apply changes. Because people are dying of lung cancer and all that kind of stuff. Alright, so there's that. And, uh... What security apparatus can we put in again? Tasers. I mean, nobody likes tasers, but I think we need tasers. Alright, tasers. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> We don't actually need them, but we gotta put them in anyway. Yes! So we got ID cards, detentions without trial, curfews. Alright, we're going to uh, wait a few more turns. Liberal plot, well, they, they lose. Mortgage rate rise increases homelessness. I don't know why they're not confident, doesn't make any sense. Our teacher shortage has ended. We're making even more money. Uh, great. We are totally winning. Uh, pollution is not really affected yet. Skill shortage is going down. Alright, good. I think we're gonna turn this around pretty soon. I don't know if I should just put an alcohol tax in. Poverty, alcohol consumption, crime... What is actually driving alcohol consumption? Alcohol law... Uh... That requires 50. That requires 50. That requires 50. We can't actually get 50, can we? Because our maximum... Oh, our maximum is 50. Alright, we, we're gonna do ID cards next. Alright, we're gonna do ID cards next. Let me just wait a turn. Liberal plot, yeah well, screw those guys. Internet tracking. The increasing capability of large corporations to use computer customer databases and big data to analyze consumer behavior has led to concerns about privacy. The companies insist that such data is anonymous in many cases and is being used purely to provide a better service, whereas campaigners suggest big faces corporations are creating Big Brother style databases of consumers without their consent. Uh, we are gonna allow tracking. Um, 82% approval rating. This is amazing. 